team in need of a boost of confidence because Wolves have so far managed just one point from their four games. But they welcome back to their lineup this afternoon Andy Gray, who has recovered from an ankle injury. In the lineup, there's only one new face, and that's at number 11, Tony Towner, who in fact has been around the game for quite a long time and finally made the journey here from Rotherham for £50,000. Birmingham are unchanged for their fourth consecutive match, which must be a nice change for their manager, Ron Saunders. It's been a good week for them with two consecutive wins, but they were at home. What now can they produce away from home? Graham Hawkins, the Wolves manager. The grass at Molyneux looking very lush indeed. And it's had quite a bit of rain this morning, so the top surface it will be quite slippery. Palmer. And plenty of time for Van den Haal. It's Rees. Youngster is making the most of his chances and starting the match on the left side. And Dard, who hasn't missed a match for Wolves since he came from Stoke City early last season. Palmer. He was trying to find Tony Towner. Well played, son! Can't be done by John Pender, giving an early field of the ball to John Burridge. Palmer. Dodd. Gray. So fan, I was looking for John Richards then, but he's departed for Sonia Climbs. Clive Thomas, the referee, has just come from Sonia Climbs of Portugal, and this is his first match of the season. John Humphrey. Dive in by Holsell. Straight to Harford. We're disappointed that he made no use of it at all. by Billy Wright. Reese. Uh, it worked in the end, but not quite in the way it was intended. This is Ian Cartwright. Town has gone on ahead. Gray on the near post. He for the run around the far. Good turn by Tana. Gray, in fact, has moved off the near post. But Tony Towner, with a nice turn, changed his angle. But uh, the front players in the middle, Mel Eves and Andy Gray, made their moves perhaps rather too soon. Eves with a kick. Tony Coton, entitled to look dejected. He didn't come for the cross, nobody went up for it in a Birmingham shirt. And Tony Towner produces the goal from the corner, and Mel Eves gets the goal on his 27th birthday.
They'd be looking for more now, Maleves. Birmingham, presumably, would be looking rather better for him. The Wolves have maintained their sequence of scoring first in their home games. Did so against Liverpool when they were pulled back for one all draw, and against Arsenal, to whom they lost 2-1. Hopkins shot was from Harford and it was a good one nasty one for a keeper hitting a wet top surface just in front of him uh, Burridge covered it well Robert Hopkins to take it Fender, Towner on his own, as far as the gold shirts are concerned. Broadhurst offside. Not much in it. Drive and shot followed, but uh, the linesman, Mr. Delaney, right up with the play. yard line and six yard line. This is Broadhurst. Up eight. Both by Crosser and Keeper. Birmingham have come back well after going a goal behind. We'll find three players in the six-yard area, three further out. One of them, Blake, number four, and Harford, number nine. Broadhurst, off the crossbar, underside of it. It was a very good try. Just an inch low, and it would have gone home. Barrett's coming a very long way. It was Roger who gave the ball to boot. rather hurting himself at ball and defender. Kevin Broadhurst certainly picked his spot and was just fractionally out. Back that Graham Hawkins has come down to the touchline very early in the game is an indication of how the game is going. Well on by Gray. Ball seemed to float in the air. He was travelling some few yards to get on the end of it. And that was a touch of Gray. I was going to say of days gone by, we don't see them perhaps quite so often these days, but it's still there when he wants to produce it. player. That could be problems. It's got all the way, push and shove, and that's going to be a penalty in the end of the free kick initially. Hopkins still going on. The penalty in the end for the charge out by John Barrage. Although there was no doubt there was holding in the first place as Hopkins tried to get through. Linesman certainly indicated the holding, but the referee played the advantage. And Billy Wright has the chance for the penalty spot. And takes it for 1-1. One, one. Uh, Billy Wright with 
the early chance to make amends. And John Burridge goes for the fifth match of the season and knows that he will not have a clean sheet today as on the previous four occasions. for Andy Gray. He was denied by the goalkeeper's legs. And Gray really didn't strike the ball as well as he has on many other occasions. might well feel a little bit aggrieved that they're not leading. The goal scored by Mel Eves after nine minutes and by Billy Wright for the penalty spot in the 29th minute. So the half-time score, 1-1. Disappointing for the Wolves supporters, particularly the youngsters, but during the half-time interval, a chance to see what the modern new ground might look like in the future, because this is a model of... Derek Dugan's plan to involve the football club with the community and to allow the community to use the facilities of that football club. The whole area to include a trade centre, a sports hall, a local polytechnic school, industry, a hotel and living accommodation over 30 acres. It's going to cost £21 million and Wolves are hoping that the government will assist to the tune of £6 million. Well, all that's for tomorrow. For this afternoon, there's a second half opportunity here for Billy Livingston, who's come on in place of Peter Daniel, who pulled a hamstring muscle. And Birmingham get the second half underway. And of the two managers, there can surely be no doubt that Graham Hawkins has had to do more talking during the half-time interval. And Livingston with an early touch. One either. Phillips. Harper thinking about the run across. Falls away again. Is ideally placed. And then Burridge did well. Hopkins. And has to go down. There's an opportunity missed. But the cross was a beauty. And Burridge did well to deny him. Also, two to one, and here's Livingston. Oh, that's a good try. Really didn't hit that well. He was given the room because two Birmingham defenders went for Andy Gray got hold of it and gets the corner from it as Copeland went spinning across his goal. Gray is up, but pushed his man in order to get there. Shoots 
asking coat being used pretty early. Birmingham City to make their substitution. The man to be replaced is Reese. Tony Reese being replaced by Howard Gale. Dodd. Harford. Palmer. does make the run off the near post, the corner's hit longer, and Coton does a little bit of juggling. And it picked up too much pace. Turner once more. That's a good turn. Billy Wright with the header once more. Palmer, still a chance for Wolves. Livingston. So Billy Wright has done very, very well, particularly in the air. Gray, Tana. Oh, he tried to place it. Goalkeeper came quickly to him. Didn't see too much of the goal, I wouldn't have thought, Tony Tana. And he went for placement rather than par. Put it wide. Ron Saunders was at least at half time, which and he was entitled to be a bit, a bit disappointed about what's happened since. Palmer, that's the best long ball he's played in the match. Finds Gray. Towner, three waiting in the middle. He's gone for broke again. Eves! And the header hit the knees of Jim Hagen. still waits for Wolves' first victory in the First Division. At Birmingham, on their first half performance in particular, good value for the one-all draw. 